YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, and this is a matchup I had long wanted to explore because I was curious with these two factions, both having so many missiles, the Wood Elves and Kislev, which one, if any, would have the upper hand in these battles, and how does that matchup line out? So I was able to get together with Dov Plays, which thank you again to him for helping me with all these battles in this pre-release build. I'm going to be playing as the Wood Elves, and I'm going to cover the armies quickly so you all know what's here. I brought a mix of units to try and get a feel for how certain units were going to play out and what would be good and bad. My army wasn't uh, anything other than me just trying to bring pretty much a balanced build. I've got Glade Riders with Spears here and then some great Stag Knights to be able to deal some armor-piercing damage if needed. I have four Eternal Guards, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, four of them. Um, and then I've got four Glade Guard. A couple of them have Starfire Shafts, and then I think I have some Hagbane Tips as well for slowing things down. I've got the Wild Hunters of Kurnos here for some specific anti-large against light cavalry. They won't be armor-piercing, but they should be good against that light stuff. And then I've got a Glade Rider with Hagbane Tip on the far flank for trying to slow down um, inevitably what I feel like is going to be a lot of um, sleds. Um, so then I got a Spell Slinger, Lore of Life for some healing, and the Sisters of Twilight on their eagle. And that was to be able to maybe pick at archer units or other infantry formations and snipe at single entity targets if needed. Now, I expected from Kislev to see a line of armored Kassars, and it is in fact present. I mean, with these guys having really good shields, you can see here it's a silver shield, just like my Eternal Guards. Um, but they have a ranged attack, which is never going to be a bad thing. Um, and they can cause some damage. So Armored Kassars, I also expected to see plenty of Winged Lancers. These pretty cheap light cavalry can be used to pretty devastating effect against a lot of Wood Elf units. And then backing them up are Kassar Spears. And as far as leadership goes, we've got a Patriarch on a War Bear, um, two of them. And then they are supporting an Ice Witch um, also on a War Bear. And as far as spells go, I see Death, or sorry, Frost Blades and Ice Maiden's Kiss and Glacial Blast here, so just, uh, and then the, the cap here for a summon. So, but I mean, look at the number of cavalry, uh, cavalry here. We've got Kosovite Dervishes, there was three of them over there, and then three Winged Lancers. So that is six cavalry that I'm gonna be facing down. And already, as soon as the battle started, I could tell it was gonna be a rough go of it for me. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best um, to pull out what I can here and see what we can do. Some of his units were hidden over here at first, so I couldn't see everything over there great. I decided to go ahead and start picking at the infantry, see if I can get rid of some of these armored Kassars, because these are not going to be pleasant to deal with in melee. Um, at least I don't think they will for Eternal Guards. Um, so I'm going to try and get a little bit of work done. Now, as they approach, you can see their shields are going to be fairly significant. Um, and then things start un unfolding very quickly as Dov pushes heavy on his left. Um, so I've got an engagement that's shaping up faster than I wanted it to, so I push my Eternal Guards forward to try and stop some of these units before they're able to get into gun range, but a lot starts happening very quickly. I got my Glade Riders with Spears over here, and I've got my Great Stagmites. I'm going to come in and go ahead and engage, um, but the leadership comes in for Kislev as well. You can see a nice fallback here trying to break the charge and then turn around and hit me. doesn't work perfectly, but it was a good idea there to try. Now, as the battle starts to unfold, my great stag or my wild hunters, I got a quick charge, and I'm trying to get rid of some of these armored Kassars, but these units were badly needed over in this fight and weren't there. And then not only that, I've now got multiple Kosovite dervishes working in on my left flank. I'm gonna attempt to intercept them, and I used my sisters of twilight to intercept them, as well as my hagbane tips. So I'm doing everything I can to slow down that light cavalry rush while trying to just hold down a front line. But holding the front line proves difficult as these heavy war sleds already pushed through and caused a lot of damages and now these Kassar spears are up here in huge numbers and causing big problems for me. My cavalry on the right got overwhelmed and pushed back by just sheer force and also there was war bear support. So at this point my army is pretty much overrun and I'm having a difficult time keeping my archers free and my archers would really be my only prayer here. You can see where I do get my eternal guard into combat. I mean they're just stacked up against overwhelming odds here, Kassars and uh, Kassars with spears, so it's just that's not going to go well for Eternal Guards. And so at this point, yeah, like I said, it's it's a retreat and try and stay alive for me. My Flyers have done well. Kislev can't really do much to challenge them. 
which is what I expected there. I got a special shot off at these wing plancers trying to do what I can to draw them down. But as you can see, like it's just an absolute scramble for me to try and keep my archers alive. Um, the amount of cavalry I brought was not high enough, <laughs> not by a long shot. And so it really ends up being a problem here. So Dov is going to be able, he started shredding my right flank and he's still just moving across. And like I said, doing my best to try and get some fire in here. The Sisters of Twilight have done some honestly pretty decent damage so far. And my spell singer has been able to get in and, you know, chase down cavalry too, but just the damage done has been too significant. If you take a look though, these Glade Riders with Hagbane tips, I feel like maybe I didn't get these units out early enough. Um, they would have been useful potentially. And I'm starting to think, and we'll discuss as we go through the latter half of this battle, because I think it's pretty obvious how this is going to unfold, um, what I could have done better. And I have some videos too. We didn't just leave it at this. Um, I wanted to see how some of these units stack up against each other. So for instance, how do Kosovite Dervishes stack up against, um, let's say, uh, um, Wood Elf Spear Riders? How do Winged Lancers stack up against, uh, you know, like Wild Riders, stuff like that. So we wanted to get some ideas on how these units stack up. How do Eternal Guards stack up against Armored Kassars, right? We want to understand this matchup a little deeper, so I'll have some further replays after this. Uh, to try and help explain that um, and then you know I'll, while we're going through those I'll talk through potentially how you could make better picks as the Wood Elves and then of course what I'm really looking for is some of you out there who also have ideas on how you would play the matchup of Wood Elves versus Kislev. I think Dov's army is probably a pretty good indicator of what a Kislev player could bring here. Um, if you think about Kassar Spears these units are going to be good against Wild Riders, um, not in the charge, but afterwards in melee. Um, and, you know, they're also going to be just better than most Wood Elf Archers in a, in a prolonged melee. Um, you're also going to see the Armored Kassars. Um, those are going to be a tough unit to overcome, that armor. Um, if you think about the options for dealing with armor from the Wood Elves, at least from an infantry standpoint, you've got like Wildwood Rangers and maybe Blade Singers, both of which are far too expensive and far too unshielded. Um, to be a part of this matchup, they would just get wrecked, and then you've got sleds mixed into that as well. So those would be poor choices. Um, you think maybe Asbury Spear for helping to control um, the cavalry, but then that's probably not a good idea because, again, they're also pretty weak to missiles, and they would be exposed to all that fire. Um, so that's not something that you'd probably want to do. Now, when you start thinking about range, um, you know, that actually becomes at least partly my idea is, do you just start stacking up a ton of range? Do you kind of just forego a lot of the infantry, get a lot of cavalry, a lot of glade riders, and basically just over mobile the, the forces of Kislev, pick apart their cavalry, and then pick apart their infantry with your range superiority. That's about, again, about the only thing I can think of that you might be able to pull off. At this point, I'm out of ground units as well. There's just really nothing left for me to do, so I go ahead and just YOLO as there's no need in pulling the match out any further. Plus, I was kind of curious to see what the sisters would be able to do. They got in here at point-blank range, and honestly, they, they got some pretty respectable damage done quickly on that ice witch. Not uh, not completely unpredictable, because the um, damage on eagles is pretty good. Um, it's just that they're a little bit squishy as well. Let's end the replay and take a look at the stats, and then I'm going to load those other replays. I, I can't just go to a screen with the units and talk about this because we're not supposed to be on menu screens and stuff yet in this build. You can see the Winged Lancers performed extremely well for Dov plays. They got a ton of value. So Winged Lancers would be one of the keys in order to shut down. Um, these Kosovite Dervishes didn't do as much, but they kept me busy. You can see that the Armored Kassars here also dealt with me very well and the Kassar Spears. So as far as my units, the best value I got was probably the Sisters of Twilight here. Um, I did very little of value on my Hunters of Kurnos. Whenever I charged into that uh, infantry, I should have just let the infantry part go and focused on the cavalry, so that was a dumb mistake on my part. My infantry, one of them did okay, most of them did poorly, and my archers, for the most part, also did pretty poorly. Um, so not a whole lot to write home about, uh, about most of my troops here. Um, so anyway, let me go show you those other small replays that I have, and let's talk about these matchups. All right, this is the replay where we tested different cav units. My replay for infantry appears to be messed up. I can't get it to play right. I don't know what's going on there. Again, this is an early access build, so it could just be some kind of issue. Not sure. Um, but in any case, 
I'm going to show you the cab one because honestly this one's the most important and we're going to get two tests together here. One, we're going to see how Glade Riders of Spears perform against Cossavite Dervishes and we're then going to take a look at Wild Riders and a head-on charge up against Wing Lancers. We want to see how these two fights perform because it might give you some idea how to counter all the Kislevite cavalry that is likely to come up against you. So this first test, um, we put three units of Glade Riders with Spears up against three units of Kossavite Dervishes, which again, um, would probably be a pick to help Kislev expand its amount of cavalry. Now remember that Kislev has the special ability on their units. I'm gonna swing over to that real quick. It's this, by our blood, they get 30 seconds of unbreakable whenever their leadership starts to waver, and that could potentially play a difference in close fights, and some of these fights are closer than others. This one over here on my left flank is pretty close. This one here on my right flank is pretty heavily in my favor. And then this one here in the middle is, again, pretty close. But we'll see how these things finish up. And again, this is going to be important because remember that Kislev is going to have other units potentially on the battlefield, right? There could be Wing Lancers still running around. There could be Archers running around. Um, so you're going to need to continue, like, not only would you want to win this fight as the Wood Elves, but you'd need to win it with enough units left to still have an impact on the rest of the fight. So here's the By Our Blood going into effect. You can see all the Kislevite units going temporarily unbreakable. This one has now passed through that phase, and it is going to rout, and then it's going to be uh, very soon the same story on these others. So I get a decent victory over here on my right flank. I mean, that's over 25% health. 36 out of 60 unit models that survive that, so that's a pretty convincing victory. The Glade Riders of Spears, they do cost more, by the way, um, so that would be a factor. Over here, my left-hand flank, despite it being closer initially, the Glade Riders won there um, with you know, maybe 25% of their hit points left, 25 of 60 models. And this fight here in the center, for whatever reason, decides to drag on for quite a long time. RNG plays a role in this. And that's part of the reason why we did three of these fights, so we could just kind of get a better picture of what's going to happen. This one ends up just being a very, very close fight. Um, I'm down to 23 Spear Riders here, up against 13 Dervishes. And again, I'm not sure what made this one drag on longer. Never know how these things go. So the Spear Riders um, look like they're going to come out on top on this one, although it is, again, strangely close. Strange indeed. I'm going to start moving some of these units back though, and we're going to get ready for the next test. You can see Dobbs got his winged lancers lining up, and while this one's finishing and we're getting things set, let's take a look at the winged lancers here. What are their advantages and disadvantages? Well, they have a shield. That's always an advantage. It usually gives you more melee defense, even though in the case of winged lancers, their melee defense and melee attack are just gosh awful, like terrible. Um, their armor is really one of their saving graces, and their other massive saving grace is their charge. Um, and then the third and final saving grace for Wink Lancers is their price. Um, at 850, these guys are quite the bargain uh, for heavy cavalry. They're probably comparable in some ways to Empire Knights in terms of what they provide, though I would expect the Wing Lancers provide a heavier charge, um, though they don't have probably quite as good a staying power in a fight as Empire Knights. So we're lining up the Wild Riders. Wild Riders, on the other hand, um, come with far less armor, but these ones with shields have a far better shield. They have nearly equivalent charge bonus, much better weapon strength, and much better attack, but their low armor, I'm thinking, may get them killed here. They don't have armor piercing or anti-large working in their favor. Neither do the, the Lancers, but the Lancers have the armor which will provide them protection throughout the fight, despite having significantly worse melee defense than the Wild Riders. So as the charge comes in, I expect both units to take a fair bit of damage, um, and we can see here that my Wild Riders do indeed take a fair bit of damage, but we'll see how this one plays out. Now, cost-wise, remember that this is a, a fight that the Wild Riders would need to win convincingly um, in order to be worth it because they cost considerably more. I want to say that they're about 1,200 for a Wild Rider with shield. They're a very expensive light cavalry. Um, and in this case, you can see that just from the initial outset here, even though some of the fights go better than others, um, this is just not probably an ideal trade. Um, for the Wood Elves, again, because they have to spend more money here to stop it. But it does go to show you that a Wild Rider, um, if they do manage to get into a clean, prolonged combat, even off the charge, um, with Wing Lancers will do well. Now, what this would also show you is that it would be best if you could somehow dodge and avoid a charge and then get your Wild Riders into the Wing Lancers because then they would dominate with their better um, melee stats. But 
Still, we're going to see um, some victories ring out here for the Wild Riders. So the Wood Elf Cavalry, at least in an untouched fight without other support, um, is going to be dominant. And one of the reasons why I was kind of sad I lost the infantry replay is because there was one other thing we tested that was really important. I took units on Eagles because I felt like Kislev had poor answer to air, and they kind of do. However, despite the fact that I didn't have any you know, trouble dominating the air in that last match, um, we still had the trouble uh, if, if in the enemy losing. And so really what you should be focused on as far as leadership, we came to find out was Glade Captains on a Great Stag, and then your Lord, like a Glade a glade Lord on a Stag would be a better pick. They have Prey of Anathrema. They had, both of them have missile weapons. The, um, the Glade Captains have Anti-Large, and especially when you get them on the Stag, they counter the Bear characters. That's what we tested them against was the Bear characters. And Glade Captains on a Great Stag wasted bear characters, like just tore through them. So I think that even though my pick of just a balanced army got completely shut down in the battle, I didn't want to end it like that. I wanted to investigate this more and give you all more insight into this matchup. I think Kislev has a lot of tools to hurt the Wood Elves quite badly, but the Wood Elves do have a few advantages. And my suggestion would be if you come up against Kislev, you're going to need to go very cav heavy. Um, you're going to want to bring a lot of Glade Riders with Spears to help counter any Dervishes. You're going to want to bring some Wild Riders to help slow down Lancers. Um, and then you're going to want to bring your characters on Stags. And outside of that, I would go with mostly just range and then use your cavalry to try and keep that range um, safe while um, basically kiting around. So that was my thought process. I did think of tree rushes um, as one option, but I just, I don't know how well those would go. I don't think dryads are gonna do well against armored Kassars or cavalry charges. Um, and then, you know, you do have the heavier tree units, um, but again, I, I just don't think that's gonna go well. So that was not uh, an alley that I that I thought would end up giving anything productive. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about the Kislev Wood Elves matchup. Um, I'd like to revisit this one eventually, but at least I got some initial looks into it, and I appreciate Dom helping me take a look at it. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. See you soon.